right so the topic of this class the meaning of la ilaha illallah i am going to pace myself a bit further because i really want to make it i i i'm gonna try my best so what does it mean the meaning of la ilaha illallah allah 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 you can hear me now okay no that's those uh those are uh, separate things those are uh, we're not going to get now into details my uh, job is to go step by step so all the questions please ask them on the topic when i'll tell you so the meaning of la ilaha illallah why i am saying uh, it is obligatory to know la ilaha illallah because allah says in the quran annahu la ilaha illallah. what does it mean no la ilaha illallah. allah commands this is a command and because it is command, it implies obligation. Not every command which comes in the Quran is obligation. This is another story. In this situation, this command implies obligation. Notice Allah says no. Allah doesn't say say. In other, you'll find kul hu Allahu ahad. Kul a'udhu bi rabbil falak. Kul a'udhu bi rabbil nas. This is kul, kul, kul. Say, say, say. This here, it's not when you just say la ilaha illallah, you're not fulfilling this command. You are pronouncing it. You are doing it as a part of your Islam, outward, external actions and words. Allah is addressing in terms of knowledge and addressing in terms of belief. Obligation is to know the meaning of la ilaha illallah. Obligation to know, not just to say. Also, you remember I was speaking about five different types of hukam. We say first one, obligatory, wajib, fart. When it comes to obligatory things, there are things which are not individual that are communal. In other words, if some people, some other people do it within the community, everyone is excused. The obligation is lifted from everyone. For example, not obligatory for everyone individually to be hafid, not obligatory for everyone individually to be mufti, to give uh, legal uh, verdicts when it comes to Sharia, not obligatory for everyone to know Arabic, but in the community there must be hofar there must be people who give iftar there must be people to transmit the knowledge of the deen in terms of arabic in terms of recitation of quran in terms of knowledge of the deen that we also are talking about in a more specific on a scholarly level yeah not everyone supposed to be as expected and obliged to be a scholar but everyone like not everyone uh, has to be a scholar, but everyone must know how to pray because the salah is obligatory for every Muslim, right? Right. In the same way, the knowledge I'm speaking about, it's not the knowledge for scholars. No. Knowledge for scholars, you dedicate your life to it, right? You, you, or at least you dedicate maybe half of your day to it, maybe not, at least significant part-time. Also possible, why not? But this is the not the knowledge which is communal level this is the knowledge comes on individual level in other words it cannot be delegated it cannot be delegated in the same way you cannot delegate someone else to pray on your behalf you cannot delegate to make someone uh fast in ramadan on your behalf you cannot do it it is all individual knowledge la ilaha illallah is part of the knowledge which is individual not communal you cannot outsource it you cannot delegate it because it knowledge is individual it's called in arabic fardul ayn if anyone have heard this question there is a which is individual ayn means individually on the person right so what's the meaning of la ilaha illallah so i see people already are saying shahada but the question is what is the meaning of la ilaha illallah not asking to give all uh, long tafsir and uh, and a short essay. How would you translate the meaning of la ilaha illallah in English? So we start talking about actual subject. What's the meaning? Hmm? Why everyone's so quiet? Okay. Well, I would like everyone's an input. Mm -hmm. I go to accept Allah. Allah is one and one alone. Worship Allah alone. Okay. Go to accept Allah. Mm -hmm. Allah is one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. 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 Okay. So you see. 
and I already prepared those uh, slides, so uh, I was anticipating your answers, right? So, uh, like shorter way, no God except Allah. Another one, known to be worshipped, no one deserves to be worshipped except Allah, right? We need to understand the meaning of this. This is okay on a madrasa level for the little kids who say, what's the meaning of la ilaha illallah? No God except Allah. No one deserves to be worshipped except Allah. What's the meaning of shukran? Thank you. What's the meaning of, of the afwan? I don't know. Literally, actually, it's supposed to be excuse me, but people say it as, you know, as a response to shukran, meaning like, you're welcome. That's okay for the seven years old kids. Not enough for adults like us, because here yeah, the question is, what do you mean when you say God? What do you mean when you say worshipped? What worship has to do with that? Why other one way of saying no God? Why other ways to say no to be worshipped? Because, okay, we understand La means no. Illa means except. And Allah means Allah. Meaning at La ilaha illallah. No. Ilah except Allah. Allah is the only Allah. So basically, to understand this, not just to give English very superficial translation and thinking, we fulfill this obligation when you're not actually able to understand what it means and not and how do i know if you're able to ex uh, or how do you know if you're able to uh, and uh, if you understood it or not are you able to explain it to someone who asks you question who is god what is worship and what worship has to do with it and understand explain with understanding not start speaking well god uh, let me look it up in the dictionary what's in english the word god means well, what's worship? Well, I know Christian people say worship, praise. Maybe worship is the same. That's speculation. And we don't speak about the deen without knowledge. We need to study it. So the, to answer this question, to understand it as it is in Arabic, we need to understand what do we mean when we say ilaha? Because we know la ilaha illallah, no ilaha. There is no ilaha except Allah. So what's the meaning of the word ilaha? 